Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor again. In today's episode, we'll talk about XPEF Incorporated traded at New York Stock Exchange ticker name XPEF. Well, uh, XPEF today finished with showing a uh, kind of a hammer-like formation on the declining trend. We see this red-white candle with almost no upward shadow and quite significant downward shadow. So this could mean an immediate, let's say, rebounce. And it's an example of so-called delayed magic cross down, which usually works either as a deceleration of a downward, downwards trend or as an momentarily bullish effect and what does it mean so magic delayed magic cross it's when moving average 20 this green line uh, hits from the top moving average 50 the blue line and by the way here on the left you see their legends uh, and once this is happening usually it's called it, it is called magic cross down meaning that it should push the price downwards but if the price already was down so the price section already took its portion to go down then magic cross down in this case on the bottom of the price works as a momentarily uh, let's say bullish or neutral effect and then it's called delayed magic cross down so this could cause uh, a quick rebound of the price but still because we are in general in kind of a corrective move for this stock and you can see clearly uh, there is kind of let's say descending uh, formation on the top the r1 so what could happen we either let's say um, rebounds downwards from moving average 20, the, the green line here, or if they will still going like this and play around each other with moving average 50, we could go all the way until R1 and then have another rebounds before we really start a major, let's say, a reconfirmation. Because here it looks like we are now about to form kind of a descending uh, channel, trading channel, if you look at it, uh, it looks like this and if it is confirmed tomorrow with positive action then we know that the channel R1, R2 is formed and until it will converge we could actually play within it with volatilities. Also keeping in mind that moving average 20 might work here and there is a resist level. So with this being said how to play here. Uh, well, it's of course uh, immediate buy. You can say already in the in the size of the candle and actually in the vicinity of R1. So in in the shadow, you can already buy anything. And let's say if you would write it, let's draw it dark. So if you would write it here, uh, the price to enter would be just between uh, let's say 30 to 50. If we slightly pierce this R R2 line all the way until actually uh, 37 40. so this would be the enter opportunity and should we rebounce immediately again at least we should go to moving average uh, 20 here and anyway what we advise at our channel is taking profit of 10 to 15 percent if you like you can take it uh, wait longer but this is up to you uh, we usually let's say tune and uh, fine-tune and actually follow the analysis and develop it in such a way that we could target this profit. So whenever it is there, just take it, then either re-enter or check other opportunities. We post many videos daily at our channel. So with this being said, actually for midterm traders, you can say uh, it is expected to volatile between R1, R2 and just wait until it is converging. Then we could break it up and then uh, create some positive move whenever any positive uh, catalyst will come. Uh, so if you are for, let's say, a longer term trader, just enter more and more closer to descending R1, R2 level. But if you are midterm, or let's say short term trader or daily trader, of course, you need to catch the wave and that's the way you, you do it here with this analysis. Should we break this one? This, also, this is also possible, but mainly if negative catalysts come because this is a very strong support line. If we break further, well, then we just uh, keep standard averaging down and averaging down based on actually, uh, let's say, some valuable uh, levels for resistance support. Of course, this channel, let's call it S1, S2, will form a very strong line because it will be another even trading channel, R1, S2, will, will be formed if we completely pierce it. And therefore, somewhere in the middle and closer to S2 will be, again, very strong entry opportunity. It's not at all we expect this to go that low. Maybe it would be on some negative expectations even already in the first average down opportunity. Usually we um, 
let's say, assume that even only at the third average, on the second average down, there is a negative catalyst. But here, we are already on such a strong support level that if the price goes further, this should be really with some bad expectations. So then the entry opportunity would be 25 to 30. And here, because this is a very broad entry channel, start entering lower here. So the money you will use here to enter to this channel, maybe split on two and three and then enter S1 then between and lower at S2 if needed. So this would be the best approach. Should we really decline lower, but this is only due to super negative news. We just return to historical trading level, which is no surprise, but something between uh, 1750 to 20. And this should be just a solid support, solid recovery line. And if we are there, you're just safe to play at any moment, enter at any moment and just make your target profit 10 to 15%. Again, this is not that we say it goes there. It's just based on our so-called mixed analysis that we follow in this channel. Mixed analysis means that analysis we provide here is based on technical analysis, then on nonlinear averaging down based on support levels and also uh, taking into account mitigation of risks due to possible negative catalysts because these can come any moment. You never know where they're coming but you need to, to mitigate those. And once you mitigate and hedge all the risks, the only thing that remains is a profit taking. That's how we trade. So that's the box to uh, do a, let's say numerical. If you are more for numerical approach, if you like, let's say graphical representation, you can check it here. Just make a screenshot of this one. And again, I remind whenever we take, uh, we make a strong rebounds, that the profit taking is to 15% here, maybe because it's a more fast, faster moving chart, but don't be too greedy, don't stay too long. Um, of other parameters that say it's still that positive pressure is being built up, but it still might go a little bit lower is RSI. We are very close to uh, oversold area. So if we go lower, this would create enormous positive pressure. If it's purely technical, you see also the volume is picking up, which is a very good uh, indication here because uh, people also see this R1, R2 levels. And they think that this will work as a further descending trading channel. So everyone is entering now and you can see, uh, let's say, the volume increasing. Also, actually, the price action of today shows that people don't want to go lower than R2. They just take in and you see this uh, hammer-like formation of the candle. Speaking of uh, MACD here also, it's quite positive because we have very smooth, nice formation of secondary wave. Looks like it's bottoming, so it should start to recover then it could be a small recover going till moving average 20 if we go for third negative wave, wave. But if we immediately go in positive area, then of course it would mean that we will go all the way to till R1. In both cases, the profit to, to 10 to 15% will be uh, possible here to make. So that's the way to play. Still, because it's very um, positive stock, we uh, provide a propose, let's say, aggressive uh, average down, meaning like it's five portions play, meaning that funds you would like to play here, you can split in five portions. Then you can buy with one portion, average down again with two portions in the first circle. And if needed, average down again with two portions in the last circle, but most probably won't happen here. So with this being said, it will be the best optimization for profit taking in a shorter period of time. And uh, that's all actually for expert. Quite nice stock, also though descending but forming this R1, R2. If it's confirmed tomorrow, then it's very safe play. So good luck with it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And let's stay connected. See you at another episode of Stocks Advisor Channel.